How's it going guys? Eric here from TechEsode TV and in today's TechEsode we're going to be taking a look at 100 reasons why the Galaxy Note 4 is awesome. If you missed my 100 reasons why the Galaxy S6 is awesome video, you can check that out with the link in the description. One quick disclaimer before we start though. I'm not saying that the Galaxy Note 4 is the only phone with any of these features. That's not the case, there are definitely some other phones that have some of these features and that makes those phones awesome too. Now that the disclaimer is out of the way, let's get started. You can enable touch sensitivity to use the Galaxy Note 4 with thick gloves on. This is a must-have feature for people who live in cold climates. It has a built-in UV sensor which is great for people who get sunburns easily. Just measure the UV levels with the sensor on the back of the phone and get details about how careful you need to be in the sun at any given time. Action Memo allows you to handwrite anything you want, then automatically convert it to text and save it as a contact, search for it on Google Maps, directly message someone, directly call someone, directly email someone, search for the text on the internet, create a to-do list that links to your calendar, or save the note for later. You can take 16 megapixel pictures with very high color accuracy. The gallery has various ways that you can view your pictures. You can view them by time, organize them by custom albums, or even organize them by categories that are automatically generated based on what's in the photos. The pictures are automatically analyzed and categorized so there's no setup on your part. There's even a search option to quickly find a specific photo or group of photos. This comes in particularly useful if you tagged a bunch of photos with a keyword like vacation. You can enable SOS messages which activate when you triple click the power button. This will snap a picture with both your front and rear camera, then send both pictures and your GPS location to any emergency contacts you set up. You can enable emergency mode which gives you quick access to a flashlight, alarm sounds, a quick way to share your location with emergency contacts, maps, one touch 911 dialing, and a few other apps while disabling pretty much everything else to prolong your battery life for up to 18 days in an emergency situation. You can turn on S Pen alerts to notify you if you forgot to put your S Pen back in before walking away. Never lose your S Pen again. You can buy an official Samsung replacement back cover that enables wireless charging. You can record in 4K, which is literally taking an 8.3 megapixel picture 30 times a second. And it has a wide selfie mode for group selfies, which is effectively like taking a panorama photo with the front facing camera. If you hold the button on the S Pen, you can drag to select text no matter where it is, even if you can't normally select it with your finger. It has fast charging, which allows you to charge from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes. That's enough juice to get some people through an entire day. It has power saving mode that allows you to save up to hours of battery life without sacrificing any apps or features. It also has ultra power saving mode which allows you to get up to 18 days of standby battery life. You can set up a dynamic lock screen wallpaper that automatically pans and zooms across randomly generated images based on your interests. You can also set it up to work with your own photos too. You can enable direct pen input then tap the T icon anywhere you can enter text to handwrite words instead of using the keyboard. It has optical image stabilization which helps remove shake and blur from your photos and videos by literally moving the camera itself inside the phone. The S Pen can sense 2048 levels of pressure and feels very close to writing with a real pen. This allows you to create amazing works of art right on your phone. All of these images were drawn with a Galaxy Note. You can turn on AirView and get extra information when you hover the S Pen over different areas of the screen. These include extra details about calendar events, a preview of the photos within an album, or a larger view of a specific photo with shortcuts to do different things with that photo, a video preview when hovering over a video's progress bar, speed dial contact information, short descriptions for buttons, the ability to scroll up or down web pages, photos, and more just by hovering over the top, bottom, or sides of the screen, a preview of a link that someone sent you, Finally be able to access drop down menus in a web browser without getting redirected to the first menu select and much more. There's a built in heart rate monitor that's more advanced than the one that just uses your phone's camera and flash. This one can not only record your heart rate, but even the oxygen saturation in your blood. By pressing the S Pen button, then tapping smart select, you can select a bunch of different things like potential vacation places, potential homes to buy, items to buy for Christmas, or any other list you want to put together, and neatly organize them into your scrapbook. As a bonus, not only will the screenshots be captured, but the website link information will be saved and any text from the selected region will be converted to plain text. 
even if the original text was in an image. There's a fully customizable Do Not Disturb mode that can be set to a schedule. You can even allow exceptions for favorite contacts. You can quickly swap out the battery with a new one. You can add an additional 128 gigs of storage with a microSD card. The Voice Recorder app has a mode called Voice Memo, which converts everything you say to text. It even recognizes commands like period, next line, smiley face, colon, hyphen, ampersand, hashtag, tilde, and much more. It also records the audio in case you want to listen to the memo later instead of reading it. The camera has a selective autofocus mode that allows you to choose what you want to focus on after you take the picture. You can write a reminder with action memo and pin it to your home screen so you don't forget about it. It has Quick Connect. Think of this like AirDrop on the iPhone, but up to 10 times faster when you connect to a Wi-Fi Direct capable device. You can also connect to any Bluetooth device that's capable of transferring data, which is most laptops and smart devices in general. Simply put, this allows you to quickly transfer photos, music, documents, or anything else you have stored on your note for to just about any other device within Wi-Fi or Bluetooth range. It has a fingerprint reader, which is actually pretty good, even though it's a swipe style reader instead of a touch style reader. To learn how to make the fingerprint reader up to six times more accurate, or how to register more than just three fingerprints, check out the videos in the description. You can get a USB on the go cable to connect almost any USB accessory to your phone, including an external storage, cameras to either charge them or copy photos from them, other smartphones to either transfer data or simply charge one with the other, and much more. You can use Miracast and Chromecast, which allow you to wirelessly mirror anything from your phone to any TV with a Miracast or Chromecast dongle. And if you use Chromecast or Miracast to mirror your screen to a computer monitor, then connect a keyboard and mouse to your Galaxy Note 4, you can literally turn it into an Android-based desktop computer. You can use the Photo Note feature in the S Note app to take a picture of a whiteboard, chalkboard, list, or anything else with text, graphs, and equations, and automatically convert it to an editable image. It converts words and equations to editable text, and even breaks up graphs into vector images so you can make them bigger, change them, and even modify the colors without losing any detail. To see a very in-depth review of this, click the banner at the top of the screen or the link in the description. You can even make ultra-customizable collages to post to social networks. You can set up reactivation lock, which prevents someone from being able to factory reset your device to bypass your lock screen. Now, the only way for a thief to get any use out of stealing your phone is if they also figure out your alphanumeric password, or they steal your finger. Speaking of security, there's also Samsung Knox, which won the GSMA Award Best Security Product of the Year for 2015, and was approved by the NSA for government use. The front-facing camera can record in 2K resolution. To put that into perspective, that's almost twice the resolution of the iPhone 6's rear camera. And the audio with both the front and rear cameras on the Galaxy Note 4 is recorded in stereo and sounds very crisp and clear. You can use the Samsung Smart Switch app, which quickly transfers all of your contacts, calendar events, text messages, photos, music, videos, call logs, memos, alarms, and Wi-Fi settings from many iOS and Android devices. This makes switching to a Samsung device easier than ever. It has private mode, which allows you to hide any family pictures or sensitive documents behind your fingerprint or password. When you leave private mode, the files won't show up at all. Then, when you reactivate private mode with your fingerprint, all of your files will be visible again until you leave private mode. You can enable Action Memo on lock screen. With this on, you can simply hold the S Pen button and double tap your lock screen to write a quick note without ever having to unlock your phone. It has multi-window, which allows you to have two apps open at the same time. This is particularly useful for things like posting something on Twitter while watching a YouTube video. There's also a pop-up window, which allows you to have up to five pop-up windows and one background window open at the same time. This is useful if you're constantly on Twitter and Facebook and want quick access to those apps no matter what you're doing on your phone, or if you need to use your calculator on top of another app to quickly add expenses up. To enable this, just swipe down from the top right or left corner of a supported app. Multi-Window also has the ability to copy content from one app to another simply by dragging and dropping. If you tap the pop-out icon whenever you're watching any movie or home video you have on your phone, it will stay on top of any other app you have open. This is particularly useful on the Note 4 because it has such a large screen. You can download a Samsung exclusive app called SoundCamp, which is a full-blown music creation app with over 20 different instruments and effects, 
and up to eight individual tracks with all the editing tools you'd expect in a music app, including piano roll, metronome, and much more. It has SideSync, which allows you to mirror your phone's screen to your computer. This comes in handy for apps like SoundCamp if you want to take your music to the next level while keeping it mobile, or if you just want to reply to messages on your computer instead of your phone. If you select multiple images in the gallery, you can tap the three dots in the upper right corner, tap Studio, then tap Collage Studio to quickly create some phenomenal collages to post to social networks. In Collage Studio, you can change the aspect ratio, choose from a large range of layouts which change based on how many photos you have, change the border of the photos, change the spacing of the photos, change the background, and even shuffle everything if you just want a quick collage. You can also pan and zoom across your images in case something isn't lined up quite right, and replace, remove, rotate, or add effects to the image right from Collage Studio. You can schedule messages to be sent on a specific day and time. Never forget to send someone a birthday text again. Swiping your palm across the screen takes a screenshot. You can also use the traditional method of holding the home and power buttons. If you hold the button on the S Pen, you can drag to select a group of photos all in one shot. This makes setting up folders or sharing multiple photos much faster. There's an IR blaster to control your TV, Blu-ray player, air conditioner, and anything else that uses an IR remote. You can set the IR Blaster controls to say minimize in the notification shade so it's always ready for you when you need it. S Finder searches all of your photos, messages, documents, settings, apps, Google, and much more all in one convenient place. The settings menu has its own dedicated search bar to help you find any specific settings you're looking for. Say goodbye to tapping through endless submenus. You can set up shortcuts for your most frequently used settings so they always show up front and center when you enter the settings menu. If you press the S Pen button, then tap Screen Write, a screenshot will be taken and you can start writing on the screenshot. You can also crop the screenshot with either a rectangle or lasso, and you can adjust your pen style, thickness, and color. You can disable bloatware that carriers install on your phone quickly and easily just by dragging and dropping from your app store. The meeting mode in the voice recorder can record and recognize up to 8 people based on direction. When you play the recording back, you can select specific people and only hear what those people said during the meeting. The playback will skip over everyone else who spoke, so you won't need to scrub through the recording yourself. You can also add bookmarks, change the playback speed, play a specific section of the recording on a loop, trim the audio to keep just what you need, and even skip over silent parts of the meeting. SmartStay keeps your screen on as long as you're looking at it. No more having to tap the screen every so many seconds just to keep the screen from shutting off. Pop-up messages allow you to quickly reply to a message without interrupting the app you currently have open. Many notifications have quick actions that allow you to reply to or archive an email, reply to a message, or call the person back directly, and much more. Pop-up calls allow you to finish what you were doing before answering a call. You can even minimize a call and send a quick text, check your calendar, or do something else on your phone while on a call. Raising the phone to your ear while in the Messages app or the Contacts app will automatically call the person you're currently messaging or the contact you're currently looking at. You can scrub through movies more accurately by sliding your finger up above the scrubber. You can move at full speed, half speed, or quarter speed to find that one scene you're looking for. When watching a video, you can swipe up or down on the left side of the screen to adjust the brightness or swipe up or down on the right side of the screen to adjust the volume. Pressing the power button while watching a video locks the controls so you can hand the phone to someone else without having to worry about them hitting any on-screen buttons, the capacitive buttons, or even the home button by accident and leaving the video. Swiping across a contact either directly calls or messages them depending on which way you swipe. Putting your palm on the screen when receiving a call automatically silences the call. You can do the same by turning the phone face down. Smart alert for notifications will make your phone vibrate briefly when you pick it up if you have any unseen notifications. You can use it with the Samsung Gear S. You can enable the reduced screen size gesture which shrinks the entire screen down. You can even adjust the size of the shrunken screen as well as its position. This makes one-handed use much easier and is personally one of my most used features. The calculator app turns into a scientific calculator when you turn it sideways. You can see the whole screen when changing the brightness. You can quickly share access to your home or office wireless network with many other Samsung smartphone owners without having to give them your password. You can even limit the time their connection is good for if you don't want them hopping on sometime later. You can use the Galaxy Note 4 as a USB stick to transfer any file type you want. And with up to a 128GB microSD card, there's almost no limit to the size or types of files you can save. The screen on the Galaxy Note 4 was ranked as the best screen for outdoor visibility on any mobile device by DisplayMate, 
one of the leading display review companies. Check out their full review in the description below. I should also note that the Galaxy S6 has recently taken the crown for best screen, but the Note 4 is still a close second. DisplayMate also says the screen is tied with the Galaxy S6 for the most accurate color reproduction of any smartphone or tablet currently on the market, and that the screen is quote, visually indistinguishable from perfect. Easy Mode makes the interface so simple that it can make the most technologically challenged people feel right at home. You're locked to a home screen, a contact screen, and a quick app screen. You can add extra contacts and app screens, but that's about it. Samsung even added a help button in case this was still too advanced for some users. This is a great feature for people who want to learn how to use smartphones, but are worried about complex menus and accidentally removing things. If you press the S Pen button, then tap Image Clip, you can select an area of the screen and take a screenshot of just that area. You can then adjust it to be a more evenly rounded selection or a square selection that's adjustable. There's even an auto shape option which automatically outlines just the image it thinks you're trying to capture and removes the background from it once you finish editing it. If the outline isn't quite right, you can adjust it with the plus or minus icons. When you are finished, you can tap the scrapbook icon to save it to your scrapbook. You could also just press the back button to save the image to your clipboard so you can paste it in another app without having to save the image. You can enable Air Wake Up, which allows you to turn your screen on by waving your hand over it. This is handy for quickly checking your missed messages if your hands are messy. You can download Samsung's Kids Mode app, which locks kids into a safe and fun app. The only way out of this mode is with a pin that you set up. You can enable HD Voice, which makes your voice sound much more clear when talking to anyone else who has an HD Voice enabled smartphone. Long pressing on text in various apps brings up a few actions for the text. One of those options is to look up the word in a dictionary, which quickly defines the word for you in a pop-up. You can also do a quick Google search on the word to get even more information. You can add favorites to the Messages app that stay on top for quick access. It has always on voice commands for both S Voice and Google Now. OK, Google. Send an email to my wife. Subject, this is a test. Message, here is the rest of the test. Period. Do you want to send this? Yes. Sending email. And to go along with that, customizable voice commands, but only for S Voice. I need some help. The Galaxy Note 4 has a Quad HD display. To put that into perspective, that's almost twice the resolution of the display on the iPhone 6 Plus. And while it's true that Quad HD is overkill in many situations, it's not when you're talking about virtual reality, which is the next one. You can play virtual reality games and content when you connect your Note 4 to the Samsung Gear VR. To learn more about the Gear VR, including hidden features, check out the links in the description. Smart Lock disables your lock screen when you are close to your home network or trusted devices like a smartwatch, Bluetooth headphones, or any other Bluetooth enabled device. You can even enable on-body detection, which keeps your phone unlocked as long as it's in your pocket or in your hand. Once you place the phone down on a table, it will lock. When you receive a call from someone, your most recent texts and calls will show up in the dialer. You'll even see upcoming events related to the person, like their birthday or an appointment. You can even tap these cards to go directly to that app. You can add phrase shortcuts with the number keys to make typing your most commonly used phrases a breeze. If you're not a fast typer, you can set up the keyboard to automatically detect when you remove the S Pen and switch to handwriting mode. Now you can just handwrite all of your messages instead of wasting time fumbling around with the keyboard. You can also make the keyboard float to make one-handed use easier. This also comes in handy when you're using multi-window and want to see more of what's in the other window when typing. If you don't use swipe to type, you can enable cursor control which scrolls through your text when you swipe from left to right or right to left. This makes scrolling to that one letter much easier. Tapping the heart rate sensor takes a picture with the front facing camera making it much easier to hold the phone steady while taking a selfie. Assistant menu enables a floating icon that brings up a bunch of useful shortcuts when tapped. You can even set these to be contextual so they change depending on which application you have open. You can enable one handed mode which shrinks the keyboard dialer, in-call buttons, calculator, and the unlock pattern to make one-handed use easier. There's an automatic rear camera selfie mode that vibrates to let you know when your face is in the frame, then vibrates again once it takes the picture. No more worrying about missing your face with a rear camera selfie. You can enable the side key panel which adds a shortcut to your recent apps, your home screen, the back button, your apps, more options, and even the reduced screen size feature.
This is particularly useful for people with smaller hands who have a hard time reaching across the phone to the recent apps or back buttons. You can even move the side key panel to any part of either edge of the screen to make it easier for you to reach. When you're done using it, just swipe from the edge of the screen to hide it. Then just swipe again when you need it. It has a dual camera mode which is great for getting scenic shots with a loved one. There's even a glue mode which will stick the front facing camera to an object that you highlight. This is great for tricking people into thinking you were caught on the jumbo screen at a football game. Dual camera also works with video. Now time for some bonus features that didn't quite make the top 100 list. The volume automatically lowers when you plug in your headphones. So if you had the volume turned all the way up when your phone was plugged into your car, then later plug your headphones in, you won't blow out your eardrums. It has customizable quick toggles, and if you long press on a quick toggle, it takes you directly to the settings for that toggle. Swiping down from the top of the screen with two fingers shows you all of your quick toggles. You can set up default applications for things like which web browser you want to use, which apps open photos, which apps open documents, and much more. With MirrorLink, you can mirror your phone's screen to your MirrorLink-enabled car's touchscreen. There are a number of cars that already have this built in, or you can buy an aftermarket system for your current car. Flappy Bird is built right into Android Lollipop as an Easter egg. The world clock looks cool and even highlights time zones. You can change the size of your text by pinching in or out or by using the volume buttons. It has a clipboard which holds everything you copy. This is useful for copying multiple bits of text or images, then pasting it into a message all in one shot. All of your recent apps remain in the recent apps window even if your phone shuts off and you turn it back on later. No more losing your open apps if your battery dies. You can print on just about any printer you have directly from the Note 4. This is a great feature if you have to quickly print a document that someone just emailed to you. The battery stats show you how long it will be until your phone dies and how long it will be until it's fully charged. So there you have it, 100 plus reasons why the Galaxy Note 4 is awesome. Let me know what your favorite Galaxy Note 4 feature is in the comments below. And if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, let me know by giving it a like below, sharing it on social networks, and also hopping on to the Techisode TV Facebook page and giving that a like as well. One more thing guys, I'm super excited to announce that my wife has just published her first book. It's called Fragile, 30 Days of Hope for the Anxious Heart, and it's for anyone who struggles with debilitating anxiety or worry. So if that's something that you struggle with and you want to get some help with that, I highly recommend that you check this out. I'll have a link in the description where you can learn more about the book and to get one for you or a friend. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.